All right. Welcome back to the 2021 PGA Championship here at Kiwa Island, South Carolina, the Ocean Course. We are joined by Gary Woodland, who posted a second round even par 72. He is two under on the championship up to this moment. He's T10. Uh, Gary, um, you know, pretty steady play on the f uh, uh, you started on the backside, I believe. Uh, but you made the, your turn in the front nine here. You played really well. Um, kind of survived in advance to tomorrow. Is that kind of how you feel today? Yeah, I didn't get off to the start. I wanted to three putted the first, but uh, you know, downwind first couple holes, you got to kind of take advantage of and I didn't do that. So I held, held in there nicely, um, made a horrible decision on 18, got a little greedy, which you just can't do out here. Um, didn't take my medicine, ended up with a big number. So that was frustrating, but I kept telling myself and talking to my caddy, I was playing great. I'm hitting good shots. I just, you know, it's tough to make birdies out here. and. Finally got a good break there on three, uh, made birdie there, hit great shots into four, hold the bunker shot on five, knocked it on you know the par five and two, uh, made birdie there on eight or seven. So gave myself chances on six and um, eight, and then you know unfortunately I three putted the last. Hit a good putt, it is what it is. So happy with the way I'm I played, um, and looking forward to the weekend. The golf course didn't get any easier today. I can tell you right now, it's played tough the last couple holes. Even the down down wind holes were playing tough. So. Um, Fortunately, I get to go rest on the couch and, and watch these guys battle it out. But um, excited about where I'm at and looking forward to the weekend. Terrific. Gary on three. Go ahead, sir. Gary, is it a little easier to accept a bogey or even an occasional double knowing everyone in the field is going to have a blow-up hole out here? Yeah, the bogeys you can accept. Uh, the double was frustrating just because that's a mental error. You, you can't get greedy when you're out of position. Um, there's just too much trouble out here. And, and the wind's too tough. So you, you're probably going to make bogeys. But... There are some birdie holes out there, so you just got to avoid that big number. And I learned my lesson. Hopefully, I got it out of the way and won't do that again on the weekend. But uh, it's it's tough. I mean, it's tough to putt more than anything. The wind's blowing. Um, you know, the little four or five footers, you get crosswinds. Um, you just got to trust what you're doing because the wind's definitely going to affect it. It's going to go to number five, Jeff. Uh, would you try to pull off at 18? What would you face? I was trying to run it up on the front edge of the green, which would have left me a tough second, third shot anyway. So I should have chipped out. Um, you know, I talked to my caddy, Butchie, about it. Butchie didn't realize I was the ball was that far below my feet. He thought I could get it up there. So um, you live and learn. Uh, like I said, I, I, even if I got it up there where I wanted to, it would have been a tough third shot. So I've been better off wedging out and then wedging it up there and trying to make four. But um, live and learn. And what's the sense of accomplishment at a place like this when you, you almost got it back to, into the red? Yeah. When, you, when you're able to battle back and pull yourself in, what do you what do you feel doing that? Yeah, really good. Um, like I said, I, I knew I was playing well, um, but it's sometimes hard to to calm down, especially when you get off to a tough start and it's the golf course is this hard. So uh, I'm very proud of myself to hang in there and trust it. Um, you know, knowing my game's in a pretty good spot the last couple of weeks, I'm trending in the right direction. So excited about that and and happy with my mental side to, to hang in there and, and really keep myself in contention going the weekend. Doug, 10? Kind of, kind of what I wanted to ask you, Gary. If you would have been told one month ago or three weeks ago yeah. you'd be right in the mix going into the weekend, you would have believed it or no? No, a, a, a month ago, right. I definitely would. Three weeks ago, Charlotte, whenever that was, I guess that was two weeks ago. Yeah, three weeks ago, I wouldn't have believed it either. So, um, you know, going back to Butch, going back to Pete, just getting those old memories, the, the swing thoughts, simplifying things for me, um, and, you know, being able to do that and not be in pain, um, I'm in a good spot. I mean, uh, I have so much more confidence just walking down the fairway, standing over shot. Even when I miss one, I know what I'm doing. I, I know how to get it back. Um, I didn't have that three weeks ago or a month ago. So uh, I'm excited about where I'm at. And uh, it's nice to have Pete here. You know, Butch can see the shots on TV. You know, it's the beauty of technology today. So um, everything's in a good spot. And uh, like I said, I'm looking forward to the weekend. Duff Duffner said yesterday with his golf knowledge that if, if he'd consider a career as a, as a coach, and he said <laughs> tour players are psychopaths, no way. Do you agree with that? Yeah, I do. Um, and Duff knows a lot. Uh, he, when, actually, he knows a lot about golf clubs. He's actually helped me with some of my stuff. Um, but, uh, no, he needs to go into comedy or something. Duff's hilarious. But I, I agree. We're all, you know, it's just a tough game. Um, you're out here by yourself most of the time. Um, I wouldn't want to be a swing coach, and I definitely wouldn't want to be a caddy. They go through more than anybody. So, um, you know, Duff hit that nail on the head there. What, I'm curious, what equipment did he help you with? Or, or driver. Um, you know, just driver. He, I was struggling trying to, you know, I spin the ball a lot. Um, he knows a ton. I don't know anything about it. So played a practice round with him at the players. 
and we were talking about it. Um, I made a switch to a to a driver after that, and it's been really, really good. Any commission for Duff? Or? <laughs> no, no. I helped him with his charity event. That's enough. <laughs> Rex, 12. With what happened today on 18, you still played that stretch 14 through 18 in one over par. Is, is that a victory? And if so, why? Yeah, I mean, the, those holes, you know, once you get out, I mean, 13's downwind, but it's not an easy hole. Once you get to 14, you know you just got to hang on. Um, you got to hit good golf shots. There's just no bailouts. Um, and I, I hit great golf shots on 14. 15, I hit a good bunker shot in there. 16, I gave myself a chance. Um, and 17, you know, that's it's just a brutal golf hole. It was a great up and down, had a lot of momentum going into 18. So it's frustrating. I, for me, I can miss that ball left in the grandstand. I can drop right there in the hard path and still knock it on the green. So it's frustrating to me that I missed the drive right. Um, that was more than anything. But all in all, hanging in there, um, especially being over par going in the front nine and getting it back to even was a big deal. Five, Jeff. I'm not sure if while you were playing, you looked up at a leaderboard and saw Phil on top. But when you do see him on top, what, what's the reaction? It's it's amazing. Um, you know, I, I, he obviously played very well the first couple of days in Charlotte. So his game's obviously in the right direction. Um, you know, he can obviously, he's got one of the best short games in the world. So um, he's won five major championships. Um, you know, is it surprising to see him up there? I don't think you can ever count Phil out. Uh, he's one of the best players to ever play this game. Um, so I don't care what kind of form he is leading in. Um, it, it's a tough golf course, and any time you've got to rely on not making a lot of bogeys, uh, I think he can be right there with how good a short game is. Back to Doug on 10. He's 50. Does that matter? <laughs> no. Uh, Watson almost won at whatever, 60, what, when he's 61 or two, and Phil drops bombs now, right? So uh, Phil hits it a long way. So if he keeps it in play with the way his short game is, um, you know he's he's obviously going to be in contention a lot. Speaking of length, I was curious what what club did you, what club did you need on 17 today? I hit four iron. It was probably it was just in between. I hit four iron yesterday. Hit a great shot today. The wind was down a little bit when I hit, and it was probably too much club. But um, I was aiming over at that bunker, and if it comes up short of the bunker, great. It ended up in it, and I got it up and down. But um, it's just one you just can't mess with. It pinned today's that front middle right there over there. Um, you just bail out left and, and hope to get up and down. And 15, what do you hit into there? 15, I hit five iron. 14, the par three, I hit six iron today, which I hit a great shot. Um, 15, I hit driver five. I mean, I'm hitting long irons in some of these par fives, so you know it's tough. I don't hit a lot of long irons in the par fours. Um, so, and the wind's definitely picking up harder now than it was when I went through that stretch. Or par fives on tour. Terrific, yeah. Gary. Thanks for the time. You got uh, it, guys. Enjoy your Have weekend. Play well.